cooking Appa. Hi, this is Cooking Appa. Today, Appa is going to make something a little bit different for my family. Something nicer because Appa is going to use the Wayu pork <laughs> to make um, to make a uh, uh, suan xiang pai gu. Suan xiang pai gu, if I literally uh, translate, it will become uh, garlic flavored deep fried pork ribs. Okay, only thing the pork ribs that I'm using today is actually from Berkshire's. All right, this is actually uh, a black pig. Yeah, coming from a black pig, that's why I call it a wayu um, for the pig. Uh, a black pig actually from uh, Berkshire's from Ipoh actually all the way from Ipoh but um, it is more available in uh, for sale in Ipoh and also uh, Klang Valley Kuala Lumpur so why are they so special is because they are free range they are rare uh, using free range method so just like free range chicken so they got place to run around things like that and you don't get any um, growth hormone inside their pork. Um, they have actually both white pork and also black pork. Uh, both of them. Both of them also got um, no growth hormone, no anti uh, antibiotic residues, no beta agonists. Yeah, meaning it's hundred percent natural. Okay. So why is the difference? Well, if you really look at the pork compared to the normal. Uh, white pork, you will notice the marbling just like the wayu beef it has a very beautiful fat distribution therefore you get to see the mar fat marbling is very very nice therefore I'm going to fry today this so it is so going to be very very tender okay so if you want to know how to buy Appa will do will give you the buying link inside the this video description okay uh, this is about 500 grams yeah approximately 500 grams of uh, baby back ribs beautiful marble uh, then we need some uh, this is about maybe five or six cloves of garlic right and few pieces of ginger later we are going to blend this and we are going to, actually this dish is very simple Mar uh, marinate marinate this with the garlic paste and then um, deep fry that's all Remember to click subscribe and notification button for more APA's video. Okay, I'm using a hand blender today. Put in the ginger and garlic. Of course, the garlic will be more. If you have very good Kung Fu, you can also chop it, but I, I think blending is fastest. Because you need to be very fine, yeah? as fine as possible. You want it to be like a paste. So therefore you need to add in some water, yeah? just now I added in some water. If you don't add in the water, you cannot get the paste, very difficult to get the paste. Just let me check. Okay, we have a nice blender garlic ginger paste here. So you want to get a marination bowl. Let me put in the garlic paste. Right, so I'm going to put in other uh, seasoning. My uh, favorite fish sauce, about one teaspoon. Few dashes of white pepper. A little bit of sesame oil, some Saoxing wine, just a little bit of light soy sauce, not so much, I don't want it to be too dark later. A little bit of salt, just a little bit. And after we briefly wash the sp spare ribs, we can put it in. 
Okay. You want your spare rib to be nicely marinated, nicely coated with the ginger paste. This is the reason why you need a blender here because you want it to be as um, to to coat the ribs as much as possible. Some will put a little bit of egg up to you. To me, it's optional as long as um, it can coat your the marinade can actually coat your uh, pork is enough. Mmm, very fragrant. So after this. I'm going to put some cornstarch. You can use potato starch as well. About two teaspoons. So this is going to help the marinade to stick better onto the ribs. Right. So after this, I'm going to cover this with a clean wrap and I'll put it inside the fridge for one to two hours. Recommended to let it marinate to read really, to really get let allow the the flavor to really sink in. You can put a little bit of sugar if you like. Yeah. Okay. So at least thirty minutes before you want to deep fry, take out your ribs and let it uh, go back to room temperature. Then uh, your deep frying uh, process will be easier. Okay. Um, another thing is. Today, I purposely want it to look very nice, so I actually, I actually uh, uh, use the whole piece. Is If you buy their pork from their physical shop, but basically you can order their pork online or, or, or buy their shop from their physical shop, uh, buy their pork from their physical shop, you can actually ask them to cut it smaller for you. Actually, smaller pieces is easier for you to deep fry. Okay, okay. So, uh, actually, without realizing, Appa has been buying their pork for many, many years. <laughs> so, I know very good quality. Okay, you want to use uh, medium, sl uh, slightly between medium heated oil, yeah, to uh, to deep fry the pork rib, somewhere around 140 to 150 degree. So, how do you know? Put a chopstick inside. You will see some bubble coming out, and you don't see any smoke. The moment you start seeing some smoke, you, you need to add a bit more oil to cool it down a little bit. Yeah. Like I mentioned, if the pork is actually much smaller, it's much easier for you to uh, deep fry. Papa today want to make this dish look very grand <laughs> for the sake of video. So my ribs is very big, the original size actually, the baby bat ribs. Okay, so we will be uh, deep frying this for somewhere between 5 to 7 minutes plus minus. After the while, I will flip it over for 5 to 7 minutes using uh, medium heated oil. Okay, you can do double fry if you like later, up to you, um, which is to raise the heat and um, Fry for an uh, deep fry for another ten second. The one up to you lah. Oh, I really smell the garlic. Ah, oh, smells so good. F super super fragrant. So garlicky. Oh, Appa is a garlic person. I'm not sure about you. Oh, I'm very excited to eat this. We'll come back shortly. I noticed the ribs is is actually quite big inside. Five hundred gram. A lot of meat inside. Therefore. The, it, it lower down the temperature very fast after I put in the rib. Therefore, now I have actually adjusted the uh, fire up uh, upwards to a uh, medium high. Okay, so that's the thing about cooking. You need to uh, look at the situation and adjust accordingly. Yeah. Anyway, medium high is good enough. Okay, this is after the approximately a minute plus. You will notice a little bit of uh, excess blood coming out from the bone. If you want to remove the excess blood, like what the restaurant do, they will usually wash it uh, using baking powder. You can also do that if you like, but sometimes to me at home, I feel it's actually, it's, it's okay. That is really, that is not 
so much of a blood is like the what you call the uh, meat meat juice <laughs> or some some coming out from the bone uh, actually not easy to turn because of the shape <laughs> uh, maybe I'll turn half halfway maybe I'll turn halfway okay do it halfway like this then later I'll turn the other way around Okay, this is after another one minute plus. Turn it the other way around. See the beauty about deep frying in the restaurant is they use a lot, a lot of oil where the whole uh, spare will be uh, nicely submerged. So they don't really have to turn like this. I mean, they will still uh, stir them, but the, the color, yeah, the coloration itself is, will be much better, much nicer compared to us because we, we, will, we will not be using as much oil, definitely. Actually, I think I missed out one step, uh, which is optional, uh, which is I can actually coat it with some dried powder before I deep fry. Uh, that will probably give us even nicer appearance. Okay? I missed out that. Probably you can do that. You should do that. Okay, this is about 5-6 minutes. Uh, I think this one is done. You can take it out. Put it on top of oil absorbing paper. Put it at the side to let, allow the oil to render out. Like I said, if you coat it with another uh, thin layer of uh, cornstarch or tapioca starch, I think outside you will be even, it will looks even nicer. Wow, super fragrant! I really wish you all can smell this. Super super fragrant. Okay, so here's my uh, garlic fried pork ribs. I have some fried garlic. I'm going to put it on top. Just garnishing. Right, done. Super super fragrant. So I hope you like my video. By the way, if you want to know where to buy this, uh, you can buy uh, their physical uh, Berkshire's pork from their physical shop and also online. They got both black pork and also white pork. If you want to go for more marbling, just like you buy Wayu beef, go for the black pork. If you want um, healthy pork, not healthy white pork, go for the white pork also can. So I'll put the link as to where you can, how you can buy um, their pork in the description. Hope you like, uh, I hope you enjoyed my video today. If you like my video, do share my video on your Facebook to your friends. Come to Cooking Apa Facebook fan page to click like and follow button. Follow up on Instagram and subscribe to Cooking Apa YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.